everyone, and welcome back to set three in, light, in my tutorial series on lightsaber use. Now, the first two sets dealt with a lot of the motions that we're going to be using in the subsequent sets. This set is going to deal with how do we modify those movements, move them around the body to the other side of the body, or change their direction in order to create new moves or moves that will more fluidly transition into other moves. Uh, for the first video, I wanted to start things off simple and talk about hand switches. Now, you'll probably remember in the other sets that we talked about two basic hand switch types. Okay, there was the sort of butterfly or bird maneuver. Hands do this. Okay, we're moving the blade, other hand comes in behind, and a hand switch. Okay, the other half of that was uh, on the way up, this one. Okay, it's still kind of like the bird, except instead of this, we're doing this. Okay, we're bringing our thumbs together. The saber exists between my two hands, and I'm passing it from this hand into this hand. All right, so those two hand switches, once more, bird. All right, the two that I didn't cover, I didn't cover because they were really basic, and that was basically just handing the saber, a hand switch like this. Okay. I can do it with the hands at the same level, or I can bring one hand in lower, hand switch. All right, now, as we look at what that's going to happen, or what that's going to do behind the back, uh, let's, well, let's, let's take a look. There are two, two different directions we can do hand switches, and four different hand switches that exist behind the back. Two up top, and two down below. And let me show them to you real quick. And one more time. Okay, now the first two of those hand switches, uh, basically all I was doing was taking the saber and grabbing it with the other hand and bringing it over. The one down below looked pretty much exactly the same. It was behind my body. I was doing this. Okay, in order to do that one down below, because the blade is longer usually than my legs, uh, I either have to angle the tip of the blade out a bit from, uh, or from my body behind me, or I have to angle it to the side a bit. Okay, let me show those to you. Out a bit, or to the side a bit side. All right, so those are the four basic hand switches behind the back. Uh, you notice that the first two that I did, like this and like this, blade is just moving in a circle, except behind my back. The next two that I added, the blade was pointing down and pointing up. except behind my back. Let me show you those one more time. All right, so those are the four basic hand switches behind the back. Uh, come back next time and we're going to start looking at how do we put those things together and start moving specifically that clock face spin uh, that we've dealt with in the first couple of sets. How do we move that to the other side of my body and how do I improve upon that to create an effect that's called the blade barrier. So join me back for the next part and we'll focus on that.